Sir, you have been serving the nation when on the border and you have been inspiring thousands of people when on the roads. But what's more curious for me to know is how supportive your family has been and how do you manage to spend time with them? Well, my family has been very supportive to me about it. I must tell you at one time, I think it was in 2011, 2011 when I wanted to go, I was planning that I should leave month of August to do the ride to Ladakh. I just gave, just guessed the dates as, as for planning and one fine day my wife hands me over a ticket of the train to Delhi. He has a ticket to go. So that's the support I get from home. Actually he was already a uh, fan of biking because when I first met him he was on his bike and we went on a honeymoon on bike. <laughs> my daughter has been very supportive of my rights also. In fact, she's been encouraging me always and making me feel proud. And so does she feel proud about my rights. Khuda ka karishma ek nayab tarasha hira ho tum. Pita ho mere meri jaan ho tum. Nani si gudiya thi aaj bhi rahungi hamesha. Wo nani kadam aur aaj dunia ki door le. Tu saath hai, himmat hai, hausla hai mera. About my son, Saurav, uh, he's married now, but in 2011, we went on a ride together and I call it my dream ride because at this age, riding alongside with your son, he had hired Electra Royal Enfield vehicle from Delhi and we rode to Ladakh together. I really enjoyed that ride with Dad because that was uh, one of the longest rides I've ever been to. Sir, you have been riding all over the nation, going to different places, meeting new people. Tell us something about it. Well, when we are riding, we are meeting different people and we say that when we meet, we grow. And we really grow meeting people. And I've been privileged to meet some great riders, uh, Nigel Reach who came as a steroid to me when I was not well a couple of months back and pumped me in with a lot of energy. Dada always called me steroid because they say that when you come, I feel that I am alive, 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 I am नी का प्रॉब्लम है, बिकॉज़ आप जब बाइक के ऊपर बैठते हैं नॉर्मल से नॉर्मल लोग को मालूम नहीं है कि आपका दोनों नी का प्रॉब्लम है। The way you ride, the way you take yourself is awesome. Then we have Samad Sankla from Pune. I did the red bump ride that is thousand kilometers plus within 24 hours in a group. Did with him. When he sits on his bike, he becomes a child. He, he acts like a child, he becomes super competitive and he will he will never over, let you overtake him and he will he will reach his destination at the earliest. And this lady rider also in Pune called Rani Wilfred. She's been riding earlier and now she wants to ride more. So she's another great rider. He is an epitome of excellence for serious riders. Uh, he is not just uh, a source of motivation just for us in Pune but you go to any city in India Colonel Sohan Roy is a household name among the biker community. Another lady rider I would like to talk about is a young girl who from Bangalore rode all the way to Ladakh all by herself showing the flip side of India. She wanted to prove that India is safe for women to ride alone thousands of kilometers without fear of rape or murder. Sara Kashyap, with the girl. Another lady rider is uh, Urvashi Patole. She started the Pan India Club of, called the Baikanese. Apart from that, uh, I went for the Bike Festival of India now in Delhi. I had the privilege of meeting Mr. Jodh Singh Masin, a remarkable biker. We put in a lot of efforts to make that event successful. I also met the Sandeep Gajir, the founder of XPHP. Apart from that, even Mr. Bharatwal Dayala was there. He is the first Indian to have gone around the globe 
on a motorcycle. I would also say there are great, I mean, great riders in the northeast also. Whether you call the Royal Field Riders Association of Meghalaya, Nagaland Motorcycle Club, uh, as old hunters, Royal Riders, Manipur, any number of clubs, then you must go to see and believe how they ride and see their brotherhood. We meet all kinds of people, you know, meets whether it is from South India or North India or East India. We'll be amazed to see the brotherhood that we share. So it seems you have been riding to almost every nook and corner of our nation. Uh, well, I must tell you, I had the privilege of crossing the borders. Uh, that was last year when I was invited as a guest rider for the fifth uh, Royal Enfield Rendezvous and Pokharan in Kathmandu. So that's where I had gone. That was in April last year. And in November, I crossed the borders again into Myanmar when we rode to the Lake of No Return, known as Lake Riddle, uh, into Burma. So I not only had the privilege of riding with the brothers and sisters here in the country, I had the privilege of also riding with the brothers in Nepal. And like you say, that the brotherhood grows when we meet. So sir, you have been inspiring people across the border, all over the nation. What is your message to the young riders that are coming up in the country? Well, Tanvir, our country is seeing a lot of new bikes getting introduced, whether it is the super bikes or the sport bikes, off-roading bikes. My only message to the youngsters is to ride responsibly. Ride, follow traffic rules. Don't come into the way of other people. Maintain a discipline of the lane and other things because everybody has got some work or the other. Anybody on the road, whether he's going for a picture or he's going to see somebody in the hospital or is going for work, nobody's way should be obstructed. You can't be cutting across lanes and making your way by stopping others. Another thing I'd like to tell them is to know their bike. Get friendly with your bike. Don't just leave it to your mystery. Dirty your hands, grease your hands, looking after the bike, it will give you a good come. Sir, lastly, any message to Cruise India? Well, Cruise India, as I know, is working hard to get the brotherhood together, organizing a lot of rides. And also, one thing I admire is they are working on the social aspect also, looking after the social cause in the country, which is a rare thing. And I wish Cruise India all the best in their future endeavors and love to see them grow. Sir, thank you so much for being with us today. You have been a gem in the riding community and an inspiration to everyone. I'm glad I got a chance to sit next to you and get to know about your life experience. We hope to see you soon and thank you once again for coming here. Thanks to you also and Jai Hind. Jai Hind.